city disposing of a lot of assets at the present time under control. Can you just briefly comment on how you think that's going and what sort of contribution that's making to the overall uh, problems that we have? The asset management piece of work is a follow up piece of work that we've undertaken. Um, the original audit was conducted back in G, uh, let me see there, uh, January 2013, and we made quite a substantial number of recommendations you can see there. The outcomes are that certainly the number of recommendations have been partially implemented. There is a lot of work I'm going as we speak, so I think I'll continue to monitor that. It is a big issue. There are a number of, as you say, recommendations identified there. I'll give you a little bit more detail. Um, I have to this down because I do feel that, that uh, there has been a significant amount of work done that you may or may not be aware of that has been done regarding the investment. There's certainly a significant amount of work being done, and a lot of those issues are in the process of being addressed. And it hasn't dropped off this list because I do feel that, that it's still something that you need to keep an eye on, so they might need to keep sort of bringing you uh, updates with regards to it. There is further follow up work. In fact, it's, it's more than follow up work, it, it's an extended follow up report. We're doing another more substantive piece. I can't say exactly, it's scheduled for this year. I have a feeling from memory, so I'm sort of quote from this, but I think it's September that it's scheduled for. But I can come back and give you detail on that if you'd like. Thank you. Thank you. Just uh, just on the on the financial side,
and more passionate for it. Well, what did you want to refer to from these moments? Rising two to eight. Clear indication of what was fraud or what needed to be fraud and 
all the deeds be sort of an in house or an external house. So I, I, I can either email you know, them something or I can bring it in, formalize it, and bring it to the next meeting within the body of the court. So it's, it's, it's evidence, not being in the meeting. It's in the court. It's like you said. This is the initiative that we've been discussing with the director resources um, fairly recently due to report. It's uh, it's just something that's almost hot off the sort of press. Um, we felt that it would be a uh, appropriate time to sort of try and raise uh, awareness across the organisation uh, of, of the potential threats that are out there. So they, um, what to be looking for, what to be aware of, so they, um, what actions to take in response to um, reacquaint people with. Um, Staff members for dumping line and with the policies and procedures that are there, the reporting lines. Uh, um, we're developing various ways of reporting uh, council for potential faults to the intended officer uh, through online, through text, through um, telephone hotlines and the like. Um, it's equating people with that. It's, it's sort of uh, it's trying to sort of change hearts and minds, if you like. It's trying to get a message across to each and every one of us that this isn't an issue for a council.
next day is there for the that that level of two or three important inspection. We put the side over the little page of the website. So from the 21st of July to the 15th of August, public can in, come in and ask to accept certain documents for the 2013 and 14. We have had in the past few years special interest in that. There's a lot of work in the area who don't get one or two inspections. Probably about three to four years ago, it's special for the inspection. It's good to put the same interest in the account. After that period closes, the public has the opportunity to raise any concerns with the auditors of Grand Tulsa and the landlords from the 18th of August to the 24th of August at the end of September. As usual, that is a, a lengthy document and it comes back to the committee in September for sign off. What we propose to do is run a little briefing session for members. This year, everything is too long to entertain to the game before the 10th of September. Only my high brother who they tried to avoid this year's July was too early to go on public committee. And that time scale should be out here with you because at that stage the audit review concludes and possibly the chance will take members to the accounts what can be actually the audit as well. It's just in the back of the committee that's the chief of the event. It's all down there ahead by the perception of the public. Uh, what, what sort of that's concluded is we'll get the audit opinion noted before the 30th of September. Yeah, so the if you have the annual public inspection early on tonight, that comes back to you in September. It's part of the statement of accounts. It's been included more for the information the public rather than the part of the statement of accounts. <coughs> information the, the recommendations are there. We've just outlined the process. If you agree that, then you could please agree to date if you'd like to have a session. It is a fairly, fairly informal, we think it might say, it's not a formal presentation. It sort of has been going into it and it's over the past few years. It's an open agenda that might be quite helpful. I'd like to put some sense of order for you, please. We normally do extend the invite to those outside the world who have got an interest in the UK. I'll just take any questions. Any questions? We are, yeah.